What is going on everybody? My name is Pizza Hunter Brennan and I have a message to send to you guys before we kick off what we're doing right now and that is basically my 2016 New Year's resolution. My resolution from the start of 2016 has been better content, better videos, better literally everything with what I'm doing. This year is going to be my year but when you're going with YouTube you always want to produce better things. You never want to get worse at any time. I knew I had bedhead when I was filming this but holy damn that is next level. No matter what you're doing you always want to make sure you have the best content possible. Now when it comes to having the best content you need to make sure the core content is actually pretty good while you're filming it and you guys have known for the longest time I've recorded my videos in 720p 30 FPS it's been the quality of the videos aren't actually all that great I babbled on about this for I'd say about probably a week now I finally got the upgrade to my computer to start putting out a lot better videos so if you take a look over here we got some very juicy stuff we got uh uh, why did it escape my head what this is when I'm literally looking right at it? CPU cooler, motherboard, CPU, RAM, fan things, dongles, and all that kind of stuff. Basically right here what we have is the super computer upgrade that is going to allow me to put out 1080p, 60p videos, 60p, 60 FPS videos, Pretty much forever now. This is the beast of a machine that's been keeping me good for about three years. I've got given it a bunch of different upgrades and all that kind of stuff, but it's running off of a 4770K, which isn't really the best for video running. So let me put that in layman's terms, for those that might not understand tech talk. Pretty much right now, if I was to want to record a 30 minute 1080p 60 FPS video in a really good quality, it would take about three hours to render that thing out. Three hours for 30 minutes. It's not good at all. Like we should be getting like 30 minutes for 30 minutes or at least like 45 for 30 minutes. So that's why I have this little computer upgrade behind me. This guy right here is the 5960X CPU. This thing is a monster of a processor and it's going to allow me to pretty much render out videos blazingly fast. And of course I had to get a new motherboard and RAM to actually accommodate for the CPU itself. So we pretty much had to do a full upgrade. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is take apart my computer. I'm going to completely just shut everything down right now on this guy, unplug everything, bring him out to the living room and uh, we'll go ahead and get those things in there put inside that beast. Catch you guys back in a second. Oh man, would you look at all that technology. Welcome to the location of where I'm going to be building this beast. Uh, actually, this is out here in my garage. Here in my garage. I've got a lot of old junk on here, computer stuff, surprisingly enough. This is actually where I built uh, the computer that's in my room right now, because those who don't know, I actually built that computer by hand. That was back on actually new technology. Now, I, I kind of really haven't touched around a computer in a while, so I might be a little bit nervous. So we're going to clear this off, and uh, this will be our workspace. It's kind of incredible and a little bit disgusting what you can find when you really dig around a bunch of stuff. Look at all these empty screws and everything that has just been like lying around like there's a damn hot wheel car for crying out loud i probably needed these things at one point in my life that i didn't even know and this back here all this junk over here was back when i was really an organ like let me let me show you in comparison this is 2016 me everything that i need for computers is in these little hefty bins everything that i need is literally right over here in my room and then this pile of junk this is uh this is 2014 me so uh i mean how's that for a glow up this little guy right here is gonna be our good luck charm so we're, we're, we're keeping him on the workstation tonight. So behind me we have our workstation that we're going to be going off of right now. This is this guy over here. We cleaned the desk. We got our 70D over there. Computer right there. Motherboard, CPU, cooler, screws and scissors and all that kind of stuff that we're going to need. We're going to have some fun with this and I'll update you guys back on the next thing that we do. Time to dissect this creature that we haven't touched in. Uh, oh, this thing's going to be dusty as hell. Oh god, yeah. It's uh, well, actually I don't think the internals are all that bad, but I could definitely take some time now to clean it up while we're at it. So I might clean this thing and then uh, install the other stuff. Videoception. Oh, <laughs> why am I such a dork? Let's do it. Oh, Jesus, man. Okay, graphics card number one is out, and graphics card number two. Is also out. This is what we're working at so far. This is what it looks like with the graphics card and the sound card out. Well, the sound card's kind of floating right there, but uh, now we need to go ahead and detach the motherboard and we'll go from there. I'm not gonna lie, I put my head down for two minutes while editing and I swear to God this sounded exactly like a bolt action sniper rifle. <laughs> We're gonna have to replace this guy right here. My old one was running just off of one little small radiator right there, because really the 4770K doesn't get all that hot. But this time, we're going with a guy right at the bottom there who is uh, three fans wide. This thing right here is gonna extend all the way over to there. So we need to take that one off, we need to take those fans off, and figure out what exactly we're gonna be doing for this. All right. 
right, there we go. There's the good old motherboard, the core part of the computer. Taken out, that thing was a bitch. Holy hell. <laughs> All right, so old CPU cooler is now completely out. So now uh, I guess really there's nothing stopping us from putting in the new one. This area is completely open now. Now the other thing is we have two fans up top here and another fan hanging from above there that I really don't want to open up the uh, back plate for. I might actually need to take these fans off because it looks like this little guy over here actually comes with three built-in fans. So we might not even have a use for these guys at all, which if that's the case, I'm going to be kind of upset because I love these fans. We might be able to swap them out and just put the radiator on. So let me try Check that. Very happy about this. The radiator is actually separate from the, uh, well, the cooler's attached to it, but separate from the fans, which means we're not gonna need to use these. We can use the Noctua ones with this. So all we really have to do is place this radiator underneath the fans at the top of my computer, and then that'll be cool. I think we'll install probably the motherboard first. I wanna, uh, actually, hmm. I think we'll install the motherboard first, and then we'll put this guy on afterward. So we've gotten to the heart of things, and this is the board that we've ordered, the Asus X99 Deluxe. And this thing is just an absolute beast. I did a little side-by-side -side comparison you guys can see the two boards this one looks a little bit odd because it's got like plating and cooling or whatever it's really weird this one on the other hand i love the white i think the accents look amazing this board supports uh 2011 lga so it's going to look a little bit different than that chipset right there you can see that one's a bit bigger that one's a bit smaller and also this one supports four sticks of ram this one supports four there and eight in total right there this board is just it's freaking insane and also in a little fun fact too it also came with uh, a few things right here but this is the most important one to me at least this thing is a usb 3.1 that he actually put inside of these guys right here and uh, they're on the side here. Now, I don't actually know anything about USB 3.1, but, but apparently it's coming soon. So I guess Asus is like, you know, hey, whenever it comes, we want you to be prepared for it. So it uh, looks like a little turquoise accent there. It looks pretty damn cool. So yeah, exciting. You know, what's funny is I know how technology works. And this is really like, this is nothing. This is just consumer grade. But isn't it funny how this one chip right here, that's no bigger than, I don't know, like, I don't even know what you would call it, Like just a little bit bigger than the palm of your hand, really. This thing is, eleven $1 hundred dollars a thousand eleven hundred dollars virtually that's just insane to me dude i will never understand like what is put in this thing and how this thing even works like how does how does this thing work radio right, so the ram is installed the cpu is installed everything's looking good let's go ahead and place this inside in the computer so the motherboard is now completely aligned inside of the computer basically i had to make sure that the screws in the bottom left hand corner right there were aligned actually properly up so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and screw in the rest of these guys and i guess the next step is gonna be uh getting this guy installed in here the little uh, radiator down at the bottom of the floor there. Very messy room, I know. Then we'll plug back in everything here, graphics cards and that, get the thermal place on and put that on. And then, uh, really, we're done. It wasn't all that big of a deal. Like, we're not building a whole new computer, so I, we might even not have to take off the back plate, which would be incredibly nice to do. But, uh, yeah, we're nearly done. We've installed the radiator into the top of the computer. Now, the next thing we gotta do is take these few fans that are hanging down right here and the one there as well and uh, put them underneath the radiator so they can obviously... So things, I don't need to explain this stuff. All right, amazing things are happening. It's been quite a while, but I was able to get the fans, the radiator, and everything good to go. So the final things that we have to do first off is install the actual CPU block on the CPU itself, and then uh, put the graphics cards back in, and then really we're done, I think. I literally think that's it. Apply thermal paste, put this thing on, and then we're good to go. So let's get that done. Right, yo, ladies and gentlemen, I think... We are done. After quite a while of working out here, I, I, I blame the fact that I haven't really worked with computers in a while, so. We are now fully done. I think for the most part, we have installed the CPU cooler, which seems to be working good. Well, actually, I don't even know if any of this stuff is really gonna work. That's the only problem. When you build computers, you kind of can't really test the products until you put them in and then you see if it works or not. So, I mean, we put a new RAM, a new CPU cooler, a new CPU, a whole new motherboard as well. So, I mean, if one of these things doesn't work or whatever, then unfortunately, the computer's not gonna turn on and we're gonna have to like uninstall everything and put in all the old parts which like honestly pray to god that doesn't happen because i need to make videos for you guys tomorrow so this like this needs to work you know what i mean but i think what we're gonna go ahead and do then pack this sucker up bring it back in my house and uh well not my house my parents house but bring it back in my room i should say and just give it a shot and see how it goes and just really like i said hope to god this goes perfectly fine we got the beast all hooked up here so uh let's see if she turns on if she doesn't turn on then guys like I, I don't, I actually, I do not know uh, what will happen if this thing does not boot for whatever reason. I am, uh, life will go on. Life will go on, but uh, I won't. I will be left behind. Oh God. First test to stand the test of time. Focusing. Focusing is the first test. Time, here we go. We're gonna turn that on and we're looking for lights. 
Do we see lights? There are lights, indeed, yes. Okay, now. Here we go. Three, two, one. Does it stay booted? Oh! Oh no! Yes! Is it gonna stay? Wait, do the monitors work? Is the tail alive? The monitors are not turning on. Oh, shoot. It's on. And it's booting. But the monitors... They're not turning on. Oh no. Oh no indeed. You guys have no idea how just relieved I am right now. So it's been about, I'd say, 40 minutes or so with no working computer because we've had a little bit of an issue. So take a look inside of the computer right now. I don't know if you guys can tell, but if you look in the top right, right in the middle, right there, you can see there's a little button right above the RAM module. That guy right there is RAM okay. That thing was lighting up red, which basically meant that the RAM was incompat incompatible for some odd reason, and I actually fixed it. You know why? I originally had my RAM, you guys saw, placed in one there and one on the right, like dual channel would, but that's not how it works in these new stuff. Check this out over here. I'm going to make a cut in the video right here to spare the lives of the people that actually halfway know anything about computers and uh, just say that I was pretty much wrong in everything I'm about to explain right now, so let's just skip forward ahead to uh, me thinking that I fixed the mistake and then me actually fixing the mistake. Computer techies out there, being one myself, uh, at least at one time in my life, I, I apologize. I am so relieved. I swear I thought I had like some sort of faulty RAM. So that was people said. It's like, you know, if you keep getting that post error over and over and over again, you probably got like a bad case of RAM. And I was like, do not tell me that I need to go ahead and order this whole thing again. So let's go ahead and set some stuff up and just hope that all is good right now. Because uh, I don't want any more surprises. No, thank you. I'm, I'm fine, really. I just realized that during that entire process, I still managed to completely take out one of my graphics cards, meaning that I need to go put it back in now. And here I thought everything was fine. <laughs> here we go, three, two, and one. Looking for the red light in that corner. If that red light stays, we got a problem. And? And? No way, did it boot? Is it booting? Oh my gosh! Yes! Yes! You can see my freaking excitement in the uh, reflection! It boots! It works! Hold on, let's see what it reads. Does it read out everything it needs to? It's not reading out anything yet. American Megatrends? Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's that. Yeah. Do things! Come on! And see how we're stuck at that screen? <sighs> yeah, that's a problem now. Not fun. Well, uh, I managed to fix it, as you can see here. I actually took out all my USB cables, and let's go ahead and hop up here, because I think we're looking at good things right now. So what do we got looking over here? We have, uh, that's odd. Saying we only have 1,600 gigabytes of memory, or 16 gigs of memory, 1,600 gigabytes of memory. Oh, God, okay. Uh, I'll be back in a bit once we've actually, you know what, I'm not gonna film any of this. Uh, I'll be back once we've actually got, like, the whole thing properly done, because I feel like this is gonna take a little while. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the final product is finally here. We are running completely good. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this little thing over in the corner here, trying to get it so both of those RAM sticks were, I, I don't know what the problem was, for some reason, and it would they would just not be recognized by the machine but i finally got him able to we got both the monitors running both the gpus this is what the finished computer looks like for right now she's a beauty and just a lot of pain in the ass but it's probably my own fault thank you all for watching i don't know what's going on with my hair but uh, you might have to excuse it i'm, I'm pretty freaking tired i'm exhausted i've been doing this for a while but hopefully you all enjoyed watching this if you did be sure to show some support uh i'm really excited i'm gonna go ahead and overclock this thing or whatever but like i said the whole reason for updating you guys on this and just doing a little like mini vlog or whatever was pretty much just to say that I'm gonna now be able to put out 1080p, 60 FPS content pretty much all the time now, which is just gonna be freaking awesome. And uh, that's really, you know, the reason I'm doing is for you guys. You know, I wanna make better content for you all, and uh, this is the next step, you know, getting back on track. Because there's a lot of people that upload 1080p, 60 FPS content now. It didn't it used to be a thing. Like a few months ago, or even past that, or whatever, it used to be kind of like, you know, the, uh, the luxury to have 60 FPS content. Now, most people are doing 60 FPS content. So I guess I'm a little bit late to the party, but still, an improvement 
comment is better than nothing whatsoever. So anyway, guys, I love you very much. Thank care. And uh, I just said thank care instead. Of, I, I was going to say thank you and take care, but I can buy it to like thank care. So you know what? Thank care, guys. And I'll catch you all back next time. Ciao.